You like my shirt. Thank you. How are you guys? Hello, 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 hello. First things first. <laughs> You guys, how are you? How is the gang? How is my beloved Twitch gang tonight? The Twitch, Twitch gang. You know, like Switchblade? We'll call ourselves the Twitch Blades. <laughs> I have missed you. What a day. Recorded another chapter of the book today. Okay, this is a safe place for dorks. This is a sanctuary for dorks. You are most welcome here. Malachi the Hokage, share a cane. Hello, Sarasuo. Hello, living nightmare. Pick my hands, lol. I don't get it. Pick my hands, lol. Phantom fan, hi. Um, what? Cats play! Hi! What did I miss? 
Um, Luffy Deathwalker, you have something to tell me too. Okay, we're not getting into anything controversial tonight, Luffy. Just want to say that. So um, we're going to keep this all positive and up and friendly. Green Ninja Fighter, Ellie. I didn't miss you, Ellie. I'm saving you for a good point. And that seemed like the good point. Dodge Challenger! I was looking for you last week, Dodge Challenger. Oh, did you get your glass bottle? DC, did you get your glass bottle? I'm waiting for a reply here. Vic, what I had to tell you goes along with the vein of a small world. Okay. Trek lives! Hello! Strodes! Hello! Wait, who's that? Ryu, Ryu, Ryuzaki, 2008. Hello. The con okay, we're going to talk about the convention, Wishful Thinking. Thank you. We are. I'm, I'm so glad you asked because it was amazing, and I'll tell you guys about it. Sanderson! Ghost. Hello. Thank you, Ghost. I love you. And so does Coro Broadwin. Crow loves you too, kid. Okay, where... I'm looking, um, Game Master Rukia, hello. I want as many people, I want, I want, I want you guys to send, here's what I want to do, okay guys? I just thought of this, and Squally's going to kill me, but I want all of y'all, that's Texan for all of you, I want all of y'all to send Squallykins a picture of you holding a Topa Chico like this, or like this. You know, so you can see the label and stuff. Um, yes, if my camera is high enough resolution, I did squirt Topa Chico. I did spill it all over. But that's okay, because it's just water. Um, it's not wine! Chosen wordsman, wine! It's mineral water! It's... It's uh, carbonated mineral water, and it is so good. Squalikins, is that okay that I did that? I hope it's okay. Uh-oh. I have to sneeze. <laughs> there are some serious allergies in the air this week. Oh, my goodness. And here's my mom calling. Why do you think my mom would be calling when she knows... That that I'm that we're doing our live stream right now. Why do you think that is? I don't know either. The epic jewels. Hi. Let me see if I missed anybody. Broly Bay. God bless you, Broly Bay. Shadow. Here's my mom calling again. You know what? Now she hung up. I'll bet you. I'll bet you it's a butt doll. I'll bet. I'll bet it is. So did uh, did Dodge Challenger answer my question? Baseman Dan! Hi, buddy! Oh, Baseman. Good stuff. Speak of the devil. Wait a minute. What devil? Who are we speaking about, Fire Mouse? Hi, Fire Mouse. Hello, K Kitty Boy. Wait a minute. Can't send it to the Ranger. Yes, send it to the send it to the Ranger Facebook via messages. Squalikins, can you uh can you can you uh, spam out a little uh, a little uh, um, link here? You guys, I want Topa Chico to sponsor our live stream, and I think we can do it if we just um, send him a bunch of pictures uh, of us drinking Topa Chico and talking about how much I uh, I love it. Do they have Topa Chico at Walmart? I don't know. Wishful thinking. Polka Nut! Are you going to be at Matrotham this weekend? Polka Nut! I love it. Sweet. Dodge Challenger, I'm still looking for your response here. I'm still looking. Well, Luffy, we just decided to do it. 
It's not like we had it planned. We, I literally just said that. And it's okay. As long as you center something, we will share them all. No, we're not spamming. Sorry. Squally, you know what? You're right. I'm so sorry about that. That was dumb. So sorry. Your fiance and also will be in the... Yay! Who is that? Tova... Tova Lisa. Hi, Tova Lisa. Thank you for joining us. Rose Angel. There's another name I didn't get to say hello to. Um... You're going to be, we're going to be meeting you and him and it's fourth anniversary. Who? Where? Who? I don't know who we're talking about. Emma, Emma, Mr. I, Mr. I, hello. Uh, Galaxy Art Life. Hello, my dear. Great to see you. Um... Ooh, raspberry bar. That sounds good, Wild Talon. Um, is anyone, is Dodge Challenger going to reply? Or is she afraid because I called her out right now? What is new? Well, there are a lot of things that are new. And I'm going to tell you about them in just one minute. But first things first, welcome everybody to our wonderful weekly live stream and would you believe you guys you're not going to believe this you are not going to believe it today remember how we talk about uh today holiday like what we celebrate today today everybody is edward elric's favorite holiday <laughs> Anyone want to guess what it is? It's National Shrimp Day. <laughs> yes, it's National Shrimp Day. <laughs> it could be National Short Day. It could be uh, Pipsqueak Day. It could be Milk Day, but it's not. It's National Shrimp Day, you guys. So get out, head to Red Lobster, head to a crab place, head to a, a seafood place, get your shrimp on, head to a, ch a Chinese buffet, go eat some shrimp in honor of the full metal shrimp. <laughs> I'm not calling anybody a shrimp. Wishful thinking. I wasn't, I didn't, I didn't say anything. I didn't call anybody a shrimp. <laughs> Who are you calling a pipsqueak? You can't eat shrimp, no! Sanders and I'm so sad. Wait, who's that? That's one I didn't say. Cur, 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 blood. Kiri Blood Rose. Hi. Wait, Sunny Blue Tail. Hi. Do the shrimp tantrum. Is that what you said? Shrimp creeps me out, though. Jules, why? Shrimp creeps you out? Shrimp is awesome. Can I tell you my funny shrimp story? Okay, you guys know how when you go to a, like a hibachi restaurant, right? And they cook the shrimp and the steak and the chicken and everything right in front of you and the volcano and all of that, right? Well, when I was doing a job in Tokyo years ago, the Japanese producer that brought me took me out to... Um, to dinner and he took me to a hibachi restaurant only in Tokyo. So this isn't like Benihana or a Shogun or uh, you know, some of those. This is, this is in Tokyo. And uh, it wasn't a big, huge, long table with eight or nine people. It was literally a private little table and like that sat like three or four of us and the and the the hot surface was there and the the uh the the chef came out with a tray of all the fresh food that he was going to cook okay and i'm talking to the japanese director friend i'm we're talking and out of the corner of my eye out of my peripheral vision i see something moving and i glance over and the shrimp 
on his tray are flopping around. Yes, they were still alive. And he picked them up with a spatula and slapped them down on the, on the cooking surface and they went flapping around for a minute. And then, of course, they stopped. And I was just sitting there going, <laughs> like, wow. Okay, so you know what, Hippo Tower? I'm glad you said that. How absolutely deliciously fresh, indeed. Like, it couldn't get much fresher. Yes, Chosen Wordsman, I love milk. I don't know what's wrong with Ed because I love milk as well. Oh, wait, there you go. Not trying to spam your chat. Dodge Challenger, there she is. Did you get Did you get a glass bottle? Call in tonight, Dodge Challenger. Uh, call in for the fan cam, and we'll bring you in to, to try the glass bottle, Topa Chico. Me too, wishful thinking. I love skim milk. Jason, Cosmic Don. Look who it is. Yes, right, Cody? Talk about fresh rain. Fresh uh, shrimp. You know what? I didn't say hello to, to, to uh, Cody either. Hi, Cody. It's good to see you. I can't find the glass bottle. Where did you get it? Oh, my gosh. We buy it at the grocery store in cardboard boxes of like 12 bottles. Oh, Dodge Challenger. I'm so sorry. Brooklyn Christine. Hello. Crimson Conquest Custom. Hello. That's a cool name. Hello, Silent D Prod. Holy moly. <laughs> KYV. I don't think I said hello to KYV. Hello, KYV. It's great to see you. Do you get it online? No, we buy it at grocery stores, DC. My challenger friend. It's awesome. I'm not an octopus balls kind of guy. You know, I'm not even an octopus guy. I can kind of do it if it's deep fried, you know, like calamari, but eh, that's about as close as I can get. Wait, who's that? Oh, I said hello to that one. That one. Ryuzaki 2008. <laughs> Ryuzaki. Is that right? Did I say it right? Retro Gamer. Hello, Retro Gamer. I keep seeing all these new names and I didn't say hello to them. I'm so sorry, you guys, because, you know, I got to say hi to everybody. I don't want anyone to feel left out. Wait. Brandy Hendrix. Hi, Brandy. Nice to see you. Okay, I can't even think about eating squid or octopus. Yeah, you know, Wolf Tamer, all I can think about is like their tentacles with the suction cups. I'm like, no, I just can't. I can't. Just can't do it. <laughs> anyway, wait, who's that? Dragon Kin? Dragon Keen. Dragon Kin 217. Oh, oysters are even worse. Oh my gosh, oysters. Oh no, guys. No oysters. I can't do it. I can't do it. You know what? One person got me to eat oysters one time. And you know who it was? William Shatner. There's only one person on the planet that could get me to eat uh, um, oysters. And it was Bill Shatner. We were at a convention in New Orleans together. And we went to this restaurant for dinner and Bill was, man, he was eating these oysters and he was loving it. And he looked at me and he said, do you like oysters, Vic? And I said, uh, I, uh, I'm not a big fan. I, he goes, have you ever had oysters, Rockefeller? No, Bill, I haven't. Bring my friend a, an order of oysters, Rockefeller. And I was like, oh no, now I'm in trouble. Because, like, it's Bill Shatner, right? And and he they brought them out, and I had to do it, right? I mean, I had to, because it's William Shatner. So I put one on my mouth, and I'm like, mm, mm-hmm, mm. And he's like, I'll eat the rest of them. <laughs> but I tried, I tried one. That was about as close as I, and you know what somebody said? Just throw it back. Like, don't even let it, Touch your tongue. Just throw it back. And I'm thinking to myself, why Why would you eat it then? Like, if you're not going to taste it, I mean, it could be a, it could be a pile of goo. It could be a, it could be a little ball of 
gum. It can be like if you're not going to chew it and you know what I mean and taste it like what's the point? It might as well be like a little piece of <laughs> I don't know. Now you're talking. Now you're talking crab legs. Y'all, if we ever, we should have a Twitch meetup. What do you think of that? We exactly, Dodge Challenger. You don't, why would you eat it if you don't want to taste it? Exactly. Much more concise than I said it. I'm just going to steal that. Um, yes, I've been to Scotland, super nerd. I have been to Scotland a few times, and I loved every minute of it. I'd love to get back there. Um, you guys, let's have... I wonder if there'd be any way at all that we could do a Twitch family meetup. Um, I wish there was a way we could do that. I know you guys are spread out all over, but wouldn't it be fun like to have a, a meetup where we like went and, and uh, like we had dinner together and we played games and... You know, just had a great, had a great time together. Squalican says it's doable. And if Squalican says it, I believe it. Wait, hey, mom. What mom? What? What's my mother doing in here? Mom, you're not supposed to be in here. You're supposed to be watching that series online right now. You told me you weren't going to be able to come in tonight. Oh, my mother. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Wait, they're Alchemic Haifa. Alchemical Haifa. Hello. Delaney. Did I say hi to you, Delaney? I hope I did. I said hi to so many, I don't remember if I did or not. Oh, you're going after. So you just came in to say hello. Everybody say hi to Barb. Say hi to, to Matriarch. Mama Mignana. Can we all just come to your house? You know what? I'd be down. I'd be down, except that there'd be so many, you know? Um, I mean, it's not a mansion or anything, you know? It's not like, uh, oh, I can accommodate 65 people, 100 people. No, I couldn't do that. But we could figure, maybe we'll figure something out. Oh, my gosh. Sailor Luna, you bring the king crab legs, girl. Oh, yeah. I'm a blue crab fan myself, by the way. For anybody that wants to know, I am, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, right, Squalicans. Um, I'm a big Maryland blue crab kind of a guy. Uh, the way they make it, steam it, and the seasonings they use on the eastern shore of Maryland, I can't get enough, you guys. Oh, my gosh. Vic's Twitch Party. Cody Rains, there you go. That's a good name. Oh, yes. Okay, I see I'm getting, I'm, getting, uh, I'm getting off topic here. So, first of all, happy Wednesday. We talked about National Shrimp Day. Previous shows, somebody asked me about the weekend. I believe it was wishful thinking. You guys, if I could put up a video, I would. I shot a video on Saturday of the event, uh, EncounterCon in West Virginia. You guys, we had a huge turnout. Like the line from my table went the entire length of the event and excuse me and out the door and it was non-stop uh, it was a six hour signing session non-stop it was so so wonderful so many wonderful people great 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 people um i loved every minute of it i got some beautiful artwork i saw some friends again so many great people i mean it's just you know, it's just positively positive. Wow, that was weird, but it sounds good. It was. It was just the, the spirit at these events is so overwhelmingly positive and encouraging. And I just love that so much. Yes, I did try pineapple pizza. Our dear Reeve, I don't know if Reeve's in here tonight. I can't remember, uh, I can't remember your, uh, your screen name, Reeve. Wait. Do do fanatics? Do fanatics? You were there. Hi, do fanatics. 
Thank you for coming. It was so wonderful. Um, try putting locks on a pizza, Vic. L-O-X. What is that, Mickey Taco? Do you agree Haruhi is queen? Yes, I do. She is the queen of commoners. <laughs> it's Sisa! There's somebody I don't think I said hello to. Hello, it's Sisa. Um, Lox is smoked salmon. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Mickey Taco, this is where you used to be in my heart. Now this is where you are. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh. Yes, I did cross paths with Nick Ricada and his wife in Philadelphia. They were there um, visiting and sightseeing. And as luck would have it, I was there doing a signing. And so it was nice to see them. Always a pleasure. And uh, let's see. So EncounterCon, you guys, was off the charts. Like it was literally off the charts. Um, so fantastic. This weekend, you guys, I'm so excited. Coming up, I'm leaving tomorrow. Flying out tomorrow for, yes, the one and only MetrothamCon. That's part Metropolis and part Gotham City. MetrothamCon. What a cool name, right? And that is this weekend in Chattanooga, I'm thinking I'm gonna make a little video and 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 put it up uh, tonight, just to remind everybody, anybody in the Tennessee area. You know what, you guys? I used to be a regular at MTAC, at Middle Tennessee Anime Convention. In fact, those of you that were that were uh, that have been fans for a long, long time, you even remember that we used to play dodgeball at MTAC, and I even wrote and recorded a song and even did a video called The Legend of Middle Tennessee. Um, yes, Squallikins remembers. Anybody else here remember? Um, I dressed up like this old timer, like an old uh, gold uh, gold digger, kind of a minor 49er kind of a guy, and it's sitting around the campfire and telling this story about our dodgeball match between the Rangers and the miniskirt army. Mojo remembers, yay! Check it out, you guys. It's really fun. The Legend of Middle Tennessee. Yes, Mickey Taco. Fire Mouse remembers. Yay. Anyway, yes, Shadow Beth, your home city. Well, I I was a regular at MTAC for a very, very long time. In fact, I'd like to think that I kind of helped build that convention and grow it because I'd been doing that show regularly for probably 10 plus years. So if you are in that area... In the Nashville, Chattanooga, Tennessee, I don't even know what's around there, but if you're anywhere around, please come and join us. Oh my gosh, so many great guests. Gigi Edgley, my dear, dear friend Gigi, who was in our sixth episode of Star Trek Continues, is a guest there. Several other good friends of mine are going to be there. Jonathan Frakes, I mean, check out the guest list. It's going to be fantastic. I am so very excited. And would you do me a favor? Also, hop on their social media and thank them for being so awesome. Uh, these guys have made it very clear that they are not interested in, uh, in bending to the loudmouth cancel culture and some of these people that just try to cause trouble and ruin events. And so they need to be applauded. They need to be encouraged and uplifted for, uh, for their bravery, for their their bravery and their and they're quite honestly sticking up for the fans that come to the convention and not the handful of malcontents on the internet who who uh, just want to cause trouble and cancel people so make sure you do that okay i am so excited about this weekend and matrotham con the following weekend upcoming event is our last fan appreciation weekend before the summer break it gets very, very hot in uh, South Georgia um, during the summer months. And so we, pu we put a pause on our fan appreciation weekends um, for June, July, and August. We'll be starting them back up in September, and there will be some major surprises in September when we start back up. But our last one before the break is 
the following weekend, not this coming weekend, this is Chattanooga, Matrotham Con. The following weekend is the Fan Appreciation Weekend. Check out NeutralZoneStudios.com if you're interested. Cats play happy birthday. Oh, wishful thinking. You were, th you were right there with me. Um, everybody, make sure you, you just shoot a little happy birthday message to Cats play here. Zany Zapan! I just saw your name. Just got back from yoga. So glad you you joined us. So what did you miss? Oh man, you missed so much. Um, no, you didn't miss much. You missed a shameless Topa Chico plug. You missed National Shrimp Day. It's Edward Elric's favorite day. And uh, let's see, what's next? So after, listen guys, after this weekend is Matrotham. The next weekend is Fan Appreciation Weekend. The next weekend is Infinite Collectibles in Brooklyn, New York. Oh, yeah, baby. Brooklyn, Christine, Money Pit. A lot of great people are going to be there. And uh, I would love for you guys to join us for that. It's going to be a great time. In fact, I'm not even the only guest that's going to be there. There's going to be another guest there, so check it out. We'll both be there, and it's going to be a fantastic, fantastic. Then, June 4th, Elite Comic Con in Wichita Falls, Texas. I've had so many great experiences in Wichita Falls. So many amazing fans up there. So definitely make sure that you, uh, that you get out there if you're anywhere in that area as well. And then June 18th is Collector Fest in Wayne, New Jersey. So those are some things that are coming up. August, every weekend in August is booked. And there are events in July as well. Uh, so I will be letting you guys know about that shortly. But in the meantime, try to make it to some of those if you can. And also, please be encouraging. Get on their their social media because you know what, you guys? The same three or four trolls send the same messages. They're like broken records. They send the same messages to these events every time. You know what they must do? They must have my name in like a Google alert. And whenever... It comes up that I'm announced for an event or a signing or I tell everybody about it. Then they just jump on their laptop, you know, like like little troll, little robot trolls that they are, and send off the same pile of junk to try to get me canceled. It's the same three or four people over and over again. And any, any followers that they can muster to do the same thing. So do me, just a, uh, do me this solid. Yes, Fire Mouse, that's exactly what needs to be done. Just block them out. Block them like you do with spam calls. But you know what, guys? Wait, there's a new one. Ray, Ray on, Ray Andas. Hi, oh, hi, Ray Andas. So do me a favor, you guys, and make your positive voices heard. Don't go after these haters. Leave them alone. All they want is attention. You know what somebody told me, and I'm not going to say who it is, and I'm going to ask you guys, if you know who I'm talking about, do not put their name in the chat, okay? Do I have your word? If you know who I'm about to talk about, do not put their name in the chat. Um, and there may be trolls here tonight that might want to cause trouble. We're keeping an eye out because this is our place. But there is... A person who, before 2019, they had about 800 followers. Now, they have like 18,000 followers. And guess what they've talked about? Nothing but me. 90% of the things that they post have my name in them. They have gotten so much attention and mileage out of slandering me 
and and causing trouble and getting me canceled and they're so intoxicated with this attention even though how pathetic is it that that's what you're known for can you imagine that like how sad that you had just you know seven or eight hundred people following you online and then you jump on this bandwagon to get somebody canceled incidentally who you've never met and you know nothing about and they don't know you but you jump on this bandwagon just to get more followers. Wow, how unfortunate. I would feel bad for them if they weren't so mean-spirited and hurtful and destructive. But anyway, my point is that that's what these people want, is attention. That's what made me think of the, the uh, increase in followers that this one person has gotten out of this garbage, this cancel culture stuff. But... That's what they want. So don't engage with them. Don't send them messages. Don't fight with them. Don't call them names. Just ignore them. They're in their own little echo chamber with their handful of, of friends just, you know, doing their thing, which to me, I can't imagine what kind of quality of life that is. But don't you engage, okay? Don't give them that, inten that, that attention. That's all they want. Exactly, Grizzlies. Just stay positive and block them. Yeah, you're right about that too, Ant-Man. Yes, Full Metal Cowboy! Hello, I keep seeing it. Wait, who's that? Speedy the Unsilent. Love it. Fluffy McNutters! <laughs> Omega Prime X! Sarasuo! I keep seeing these names that I haven't seen yet. Wait, Mad Duck in, Mad duck in Your Walls! Hey, Mad Duck, good to see you. Glad you guys are here tonight. And uh, so I just wanted to say that, you guys. Please go on the, uh, the social media of these, of these uh, events that are having me and make your positive voices heard. I mean, you know what? Ex you know what, wishful thinking? I'm going to read that out loud. Why do people want attention for being a jerk? It boggles me. You know what? It boggles me too, but I learned something in college in psychology class. Children would rather have negative attention as opposed to no attention at all. Write that one down, y'all. Because that's incredibly, incredibly profound. People are so desperate not to feel invisible that they'll actually do horrible things, destructive things, hateful, mean, damaging things just for attention. Isn't that sad? But you guys, definitely, there are, there are a hundred times more of you than a thousand times more of you than there are of them. So you can very, very, very easily drown out their hateful cancel culture virtue signaling voices if you just be positive you know no they don't care mojo they don't care about dragging anybody down in fact it makes them feel important to drag somebody down especially somebody that might be well known in their industry so please do that be positive and cheerful and and encouraging to these events. If you would do that for me, I would like to ask you from my heart in the name of Topa Chico, please, please do that, okay? Um, of course, I've got a lot of new projects going on. You guys, there are gonna be some exciting new announcements at Anime Matsuri. As you know, we started a dubbing studio and they've been working with licensors in, uh, in Japan, and we're going to be making some big announcements at Anime Matsuri in Houston this August. So be on the lookout for that. I'm so excited. Also, I would be remiss if I did not say, if you can't get to an event, the next best thing is Cameo.com. 
You can order a personalized video from me or any number of people whose work you like, and I would love to record them for you. In fact, I've got three waiting for me right now. I'll probably do them tonight. So if you're one of the people that ordered one, be looking because you're going to be getting one in this extremely weird shirt, shiny shirt. <laughs> That's alliteration. Shiny shirt. I'm not ashamed of my shiny shirt. I should be. <laughs> A lot of alliteration there. Um, Star Trek continues. If you don't know about my web series, check out StarTrekContinues.com. A live action web series that is my baby. Uh, my music book. If you like music, if you like my music, I released a book of 16 songs, sheet music, to some of the more popular songs that I've written. Check that out on Amazon. Several of you have been very, very kind and, and gotten it, and I'm so grateful. Thank you for that. And uh, also, audiobooks. Uh, I have five or six different audiobooks on uh Amazon right now and, and uh, iTunes. Check those out. Uh, there's These Are the Voyages, which is the making of the original series of Star Trek. Features an awful lot of guest voices that you would really enjoy. Uh, In Plain Sight by Dan Willis. The Crimson Spark by William Hastings. Paper Doll by Brian W. Peterson. The Nova Quadrant by Brian Peterson. I just finished, and it is in the final stages, and that's going to be up soon. And I just started the sequel to The Crimson Spark. I'm about eight chapters in right now, you guys, and I got to tell you, it's amazing. It is a great, great story, and I cannot wait for you guys to see it. Art Muse Love, did I call you out? Hi, Art Muse Love. The Thikano. The Thikano. Thikano. Hey there, big project. Yeah, there's a lot going on. There's a lot going on. And I am incredibly grateful to God for that. I want to make sure and say that out loud right now. You know, guys, I often think about what I've lost and what's been taken from me. And when I do, it's easy to get down. Wait, who's that? Slowy, snowy, snowy Glaceon. Hi, Snowy. <laughs> it's so good to have you here. You are most welcome. Ex Starlina, hello. You guys, I think often about, you know, what's what I've lost and what's been taken. But when I do, I try to remind myself that I have so much to be grateful for. And so do you. So I just want you guys to know how grateful I am for the opportunities that I do have for each and every one of you. I'm incredibly grateful for each and every one of you and the opportunity to interact with you and to do the things that I'm doing, whether it's audiobooks or whatever. I absolutely, absolutely am so full of gratitude. Okay. You ready? It's time for Wellness Wednesday. Here it comes. Ready? Mistakes may come. Making a mistake is a natural thing. Be you human or animal. You miscalculated a jump or experiment. You ordered more than you will ever hope to consume. You did something incorrectly. As long as... As long as you make your errors without malice, it can be fixed. Most errors can be fixed with little fuss or effort without needing any help from outside resources. I'm going to read that again. As long as your error is without malice, and that's very important, everybody. As long as your, as long as your errors are, or your mistakes are without malice, <clears throat> they can be fixed with little fuss or effort without needing help from outside resources. Realize that making a mistake does not define you. 
It's part of how we learn and grow. It's part of how we learn and grow as humans. How you react to the mistake and its aftermath and whether you choose to learn from your mistakes are what will define you in others' eyes and in their memory. Isn't that good, you guys? Wow, that's really good. Nobody expects you to be without mistakes. Nobody should expect you to be without mistakes. However, <clears throat> our willingness to acknowledge a mistake, to learn from it, and to grow from it is what will define us in other people's eyes. That's great. That's a good one. Fan cam question. Name one way you have grown in the last 10 years. Now, by the way, I feel really bad because I forgot to, to say hello and give a shout out to all the new subscribers and followers. We're going to do that next week. So if you are a new subscriber or follower, I will, I will look forward to welcoming you officially next Wednesday. Okay. But in the meantime, I have the list and I just, I talked too much tonight and I'm so sorry. It's already 10 to seven. We're going to go a little longer tonight. I hope you don't mind that. And, uh, the fan cam question for tonight. Let's change over. Let's see. Okay. We've been, I, I opened up invitations. There we are. Okay. The fan cam question for tonight. I'm already going to invite a couple of people here. Let's see. Lydia and James, I promised you. 